Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and earlier this week Google released Android 7.0, Nougat. Now even though Nougat isn't a massive update in terms of design, it did bring some polish to the UI and a few features that make the OS feel a bit more refined and powerful, so let me go ahead and talk about some of the ones that stuck out the most to me. So one of my favorite features of 7.0 is the quick toggles. They make it much easier to actually quickly toggle things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and the flashlight, for example. And since they're customizable now, you can rearrange where you'd like the quick toggles to be, which is super handy. Next up, we've got the quick reply feature, which has been slightly tweaked to look a bit neater than it did back on Marshmallow, and it now allows third-party apps like Twitter to take advantage of it. While it is handy, it's honestly not one of the major new features for me. However, something that is a pretty major addition for me are the new emojis. I know it may be silly, but they look miles better than the old ones, having a more uniform look and being updated to support different skin colors. Overall, it's a really nice addition for Android. Next, we've got added functionality to the multitasking button. So while in an app, long pressing will activate the new multi window, which will allow you to have two apps open side by side. This might be handy if you need to calculate something while you're in the browser or you want to have your conversation open while watching YouTube video. Although I honestly haven't used it much, I really like that I have the option available when I feel like it'd be more convenient than trying to switch between apps. But speaking of which, the other added feature to the multitasking button is quick switching between apps. So if you're in an app and want to switch back to your previous app that you were just in, you now have the option to do so much more quickly than in Marshmallow before by simply double tapping the multitasking button twice. Sure, it is a relatively small feature, but I use it all the time and it really makes using Android 7.0 feel more refined and seamless. Now Android Nougat has a few under the hood changes as well, including the new Vulkan API, which is going to make games look more sharp and play much better and Doze on the go, which makes Doze much better. So Doze worked by turning off background services if it detected that your device hadn't been used and was sitting still like on a table or something similar for a long enough time, but it didn't work while it was on the move like in a bag or your pocket for example. So with Doze on the go, you're going to get those same improvements you got with Doze, but it'll now work while your screen is off even if you're moving. This basically has led to an overall increase in standby time, which is really nice for battery life. Of course, there's a ton more stuff like refined notifications, display size options, seamless updates, more under the hood stuff, and a kind of neat Easter egg that all comes together to make Android 7.0 a solid update. Anyway, that's pretty much all for this video. Let me know what your favorite features are from 7.0, and if you haven't gotten the update yet and don't feel like waiting, you can actually join the beta program right now to get that update right away. I'll have a link down below. That's what I did. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Have a great weekend, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.